guys, it's me, Bailey. Um, I want to go through my hair care routine because today is hair washing day. So it's the perfect time. So I have no extensions. This is all my real hair. Um, let me show you. I slept in this argon oil just on like the tips last night. So this is what's on my tips right now, the OGX argon oil. Don't put this on your roots because then it's really hard to wash out. Just the ends just to make it like kind of silky. It almost creates like a coating. Like a, I feel, I, in my mind, I picture it like a sulfate coat for my roots like usually one to two times a week because that's when i wash my hair the day before i'll or before i work out at least for an hour or two hours i'll put on a peppermint and rosemary mixture on my roots okay this is really good for your scalp health before i do anything though i like to give my hair a really good brushing so this is a wet brush i only use a wet brush or like a really fine tangle teaser when my hair has oil or when it's wet so since my hair has oil in it, I'm going to use my wet brush. Start at the tips, slowly and gently. Because I just find that like when I brush my hair really well morning and night, like I'm going to flip it over, really stimulate your roots. Like I've noticed such growth from doing this and just like it redistributes all the oils. It kind of, I feel like it like wakes up your hair. I also clean my brushes Basically every day, like, I'll clean this in the shower when I shower later. Put it back in my middle part. Okay, so we're brushed. Next, I'm going to go in with my peppermint rosemary oil. This one is African Pride Feel It Formula. Peppermint, rosemary, and sage. And I try to look for um, ones that don't have a lot of additives. Like, I really don't want coconut oil or anything of that. This one has vegetable oil, which I'm not, like, obsessed with and has fragrance. So, this one's not the best. Okay, not the best, but I also I've linked good ones in my TikTok shop bio. Okay, and I literally just like go like this, like all down, zigzag, get the crown. Like I like to feel like my roots are pretty saturated. Oh, I hate when it drips down. I take one of these scalp things and I gently like you don't want to really rough it up but I gently just like blend the oil into my scalp I say like I'm literally holding it so lightly and just like zhuzhing it feels so good my eyes are so red my contacts then we're gonna flip it over again put a little bit more oil like so then I'm gonna go in with my wet brush again and just lightly brush it and put my hair into two loose braids so I can work out and usually I'll use like like when I'm working out like this, I'll use a headband, like a sweatband right here. So none of the oil like drips into my face because it's kind of nasty. I might put a little bit more argon oil too. And if you don't want to use the OGX brand, because I know people have like mixed reviews of it, I have no issue with it. But I also just use like 100% cold press jojoba oil too. So it feels so nice. So it makes your hair feel so soft. It's all the sulfates. But this is like the kind of little headbands that I wear when my hair is oiled up. But um, we're going to leave this on for one to two hours. I usually do two hours, maybe even a little bit more. Because I just want it to cook in there. I like it when I'm working out because like when I'm sweating, I feel like it mixes with like the salt. And it's just like very activating for hair growth. It smells so good. Okay, now I'm going to go work out. And I'll come back and I'll show you the hair wash routine. Okay, we're post-gym. It's actually been almost three hours. So I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. Like my hair, especially towards the ends, will have like basically absorbed all, all of that argon oil. So I'm going to take my wet brush again just because it already has like leftover oil on it. We're going to slowly brush. Okay, so this is what it looks like before. Before the shower. Okay. So I'm going to go shower, I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to show you the products that I used in the shower and out of the shower. We are fresh out the shower! Okay, so whenever I oil my hair, I always use a clarifying shampoo first. So I use the Whey clarifying shampoo. This will get your hair super clean. Like, it's kind of like double cleansing your face. You need to double cleanse your scalp when you do this kind of stuff. And then, usually I use the Pantene shampoo, but I ran out, so I use this for the first time. And I really like the smell and like the feel, but I don't know how it is long term. But this is what I use, the Bondi Boost Thickening Therapy shampoo you No, know, like i box dye every month and it comes with these little packets i have a million of these this is the only conditioner i've been using for like the past three months at least but this is it i think they make a big tub of it the l'oreal superior preference conditioner anywho now out of the shower 
take my wet brush and I only trust, I washed it, like I got the oils out. I only trust a wet brush on wet hair. Start from the tips, work your way up. Like my hair feels so nice and silky. When I'm just wearing my hair, my normal wavy texture, I, I usually use just like a dry, um, I use an air dry cream. This one is the Brio Drio Style and Treat Yuzu and Plum Oil Air Dry Cream. Air dry cream. I'll put this in, I'll scrunch it a little, and I'll let it just dry wavy. But since it's like more fall weather now, I've been using heat more, using my blowout tools, whatever. So I'm going to use this Bio Silk leave-in. I love. She's tiny, but I love her. I'm paraben free, whatever, whatever. This is the Honey Jasmine scent. And I just put like a little dime size. And I kind of just run it along the ends. I just like through. Like, I try not to get like the fronts of my hair just because the less greasy I make it the better and then I really have been loving this pure Brazilian leave-in conditioner with keratin. UV protection, color safe, also from Amazon. And I just like spray this all over, close my eyes. And then I just brush all that through with my wet brush. It smells so good. Okay, now we have all of our products in. I'm gonna use my Dyson. Um, I know there's a lot of dupes, so it'll probably work the same. I've had this Dyson since my wedding. Like, I bought this for my wedding because I did my own hair. I'm just going to use this tool just to get the front pieces and the roots dry. And I'm not going to put you through watching that because that'll be loud. Okay, this is where we're at with, like, a rough blow dry. I'm going to brush it again. Because, like, my goal, I have, like, an event tonight that I'm getting ready for. So I want my hair to just look smooth. I'm not going to, like, make it super curly. I'm not going to make it super straight. I just want it to look smooth. Smooth, shiny, healthy, etc. So I keep brushing it just to like keep everything smooth, less frizzy. Okay, that's what we look like so far. Okay. Next, I'm gonna use this tool. This is like the smoothing tool for the Dyson. And I specifically focus this on my ends because I feel like when you have my texture of hair kind of wavy, the ends are what can make it look frazzled. And when you smooth out your ends, your hair is gonna look a million times more healthy. So look, this is my ends right now. And I'm going to smooth them out and I'll come back and show you. When you brush your hair so well, it's so easy to just brush this right through. So this is the side that I already smoothed. I haven't done anything to that side. I wish y'all could feel my hair right now. It's so freaking soft. But this isn't like 93% dry with a smoothing tool. Like I just smoothed it all out. Like my hair's never going to be straight from that tool. Just my hair texture. Like I have like a puffy kind of hair texture. This is what we're working with. And then I'll show you, like, then I'll, I'm going to curl my hair with my Dyson attachments, like, my long hair Dyson attachments, and that will last me. Like, that'll be, like, a kind of, like, my lazy girl blowout for, like, at least two to three days. Okay, I just got ready on live, so that was fun if you were there. I'm going to show you how I do, like, my little lazy girl blowout. So my hair is still smooth from the tool that we used earlier. And I bought the long-haired curling attachments on Dyson. So this one is pointing that way so that means it's for this side of my head and I just do this is the secret I just do the top layer because I'm lazy but it's gonna look just as good I'll show you and I'm not gonna make you sit through the noise okay see this is like halfway done so that's that side of the head and then I'm gonna take this off we're gonna put on this side and we're gonna do this side of the head and just so you can see how long I hold it for okay, yeah. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then I do that for the whole head. Okay, so both sides are done. Now I'm just gonna wait for this to cool. Okay, so I just did the top layer because I don't want it to be like a curly. Like when I brush this out, it's just gonna be like smooth kind of waves. So like the bottom layer doesn't really matter in my opinion. I'm gonna brush this out so you guys can see like the final, but we're gonna brush it starting from the ends. Let's do this side first because we curled this side first. Oh, I wish you guys could feel my hair. It feels amazing. Like so far I like that um, new shampoo I used. Oh. So good. And then like before I leave for this event, maybe I'll put like a few more in, but we got too bouncy. Like this is like the final result. I feel like it looks so good. My hair is a very puffy texture, like very naturally. So volume is like pretty easy for it to hold. Like it's, I have a lot of hair. So this is my lazy blowout. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. I love you guys. Wanna have a threesome?